Hello guys, welcome to Code Champ. My name is Nikita and in this video we are going to study how are we going to animate our static triangle and square. In last video we have seen the output, uh, our scene consists of uh, one triangle and square, colorful, beautiful. But now we are going to rotate it so that it shows some animation and interesting stuff. So let us start a few lines of code we need to add but I will explain you each and every function in very detail so let us start how to animate this triangle and square so I'm going to close this uh, execution window let us start so first of all see how we are going to animate okay so uh, mainly uh, like for a triangle uh, we are going to animate along uh, y-axis like animation is what it should move triangle should move so like in any direction uh, like any uh, animation you can consider but I am going to consider one animation uh, which is uh, like uh, see triangle I will rotate in circular motion okay in circular motion means along y-axis and with some angle it will change like 10 degrees 20 degrees it will rotate 10 degree rotate 20 degree rotate 30 degree rotate okay so what will happen is then I will start angle from 0 to 360 so it will look like uh, it is rotating continuously rotating okay we need to reset the angle when it goes to 360 degree so that our triangle continuously rotates and does not stop after reaching 360 degree so uh, similarly for square what we can do is uh, for square we can rotate it along x-axis uh, something different okay so one is rotating around x-axis and another is rotating around y-axis so you can change this animation as per your uh, like as per your wish you want but uh, for basic learning I am you I'm choosing axis okay so first of all we need to take two variables okay so angle triangle equals to I'll start the angles from 0 uh, yes because we will uh, start them uh, 0 and then we can go to 360 now that's why so after this square so both are initialized to 0 now see uh, first thing which comes in like uh, the function which we are going to use to rotate okay so that function is going to be void spin function spin function okay uh, spin rotate function you can name it uh, um, like as per your wish this function name can be anything so we, what we will do here we will uh, increment our angle okay so angle try equal to angle try plus 2.0 I will keep uh, you can take it as 3 or 4 as per the speed you want okay so first we'll see with 3 plus 3 how uh, like what speed it is taking okay now one more thing you need to check here is when our angle triangle is greater than equal to 360 degree at that time you need to reset this angle yes because you want a continuous animation and not it should not stop in between so I'll again do it like this reinitialize it to 0 okay now here comes our square we are doing same thing for square now you might be thinking like why I am taking two different angles if we if I am performing same action like okay same values we are changing so why because uh, if you observe these are two different objects uh, as I told you before you can animate as per your wish so the angles should be different so that you can manipulate them separately okay okay so the angles are changed our spin function is ready now uh, when should this animation happen okay uh, whenever user is interacting with our window at that time uh, animations are not done so when there are no user events at all like any keyboard event or mouse event no user events at that time animation takes place so to do uh, to call this function when Use, there are no user events there is one function glut idle func 
okay so this function is going to do this work we need to provide uh, the function our function which should be executed uh, it should be executed in that period so that is pin function okay now this is done now there is one major change okay uh, like in this scene we are going to animate so as uh, if you see the display mode which we were using previously was single so single buffer was enough our scene was static now if you want animation in your scene you require two buffers now why two buffers see front buffer and back buffer front buffer is going to show the content which is which is already uh, like which is being displayed in the scene okay back buffer is going to keep ready the next frame which is to be shown okay so uh, the back buffer this this uh, two buffers we need they are swap as soon as the front buffer uh, is, uh, is 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 done showing the scene the back buffer content is copied to the front buffer and this is required so here we require double buffers okay so we will change our display mode that is glut double so let us proceed further uh, spin function is given uh, glut double we have seen now next thing is now as i told you there are two buffers okay there are two buffers and uh, you need to you need to uh, like use them so how we are going to use them we'll see inside display function first of all comes a uh, translation we used a translation to like shift a triangle to left side and uh, the square uh, more to the right side that's the, so that they are not there is some space in between we can uh, see them clearly okay so translation we used similarly we have rotate function rotate function is going to do what rotate function is going to rotate triangle and square so for that uh, what are the parameters of this function very easy as i told you before angle so see angle triangle for triangle rotation and along which axis it is as asking us so as i told you around y axis we are going to rotate a triangle okay yes uh, now same thing we need to specify for the for our square so let us rotate it animate it okay along uh, x axis so please change the axis x axis okay now uh, this is done okay now at the end if you see we are using gl flush okay so we are using gl flush so here uh, gl flush is going to like uh, say uh, execute all the gl commands whatever i have given till now but currently we we, we cannot use uh, gl flush because we we want to animate the scene at that time inside display we need to swap the buffers so glut swap buffers now why swapping of buffer is essential as i told you just uh, uh, one or half, one two minutes before that there are two buffers required there is back buffer and there is a front buffer front buffer is uh, having the content of the current scene and the uh, the next scene is ready inside the back buffer so we need to swap the content of both the buffers so that it uh, it show it it looks like animation okay so that's why we are going to swap buffers inside display now next last thing you need to perform is the glut uh, no i'll not uh, reveal the function name first we'll go to the function name first uh, see to the function we'll go this is the spin function now here i am changing the angles okay but i am not saying that uh, redisplay my content okay after the angles are changed the content should be redisplayed because now previously it was 10 degree triangle now it is 20 degree okay so that's why in glut what we need to do we need to resend display event okay so we need to say we need to 
tell current window that the content is changed and it should be redisplayed. So that's why we are using GLUT post redisplay. So let us execute our code and see what is the output. If there are some errors, okay, we are having some errors. What are the errors? Okay, spin function is undeclared. We need to do a forward declaration for the spin function. So here we will do it void spin. That's it. And let us run now. And see our animated scene. Okay, so <laughs> if you see triangle and square, they are, they are rotating very, very fast. Okay, so how can we change this uh, speed? How can we toggle the speed? So for that, you need to go inside the spin function first of all. The value with which you are incrementing your angles is going to decide the speed. So I am going to say 10. Suppose 10 is where it will be very slow. I don't know. Uh, let us see. Uh, okay, 10 we are using now. It should rotate a little, uh, little slower now. Oh, it is rotating really very, very fast. So we need to decrease the value. So let us decrease. So I say 1. And I go to rotate. So this is the value you can play with. Okay, this is very smooth and... This is really very nice. Okay. Okay. So uh, here we have seen how we can animate our scene. In this, you can add your own, uh, like uh, as per your wish, you can animate the triangle. You can move it from X to, uh, like minus X to X. It is coming and going like that triangle. Then any any animations you can uh, perform using this. So thank you guys for watching this video. Enjoy coding. Keep coding.